It has long been thought that the eruption of Mount Vesuvius that destroyed Pompeii took place during a late summer heat wave. Now, a new study of plaster cast remains is challenging that interpretation, arguing that the eruption may have taken place in a cooler or more aggressive environment. This study analyzed 14 plaster casts from the Portanola necropolis that preserve impressions of clothing. While the fabric has disappeared, scholars have been able to analyze the textile structure and found that individuals, both indoors and outdoors, were dressed similarly in a wool tunic covered by a heavy wool cloak. While wool was a commonly used fabric in the Roman world, wearing two layers of it would be unexpected during a summer heat wave. These finds suggest that at the time of the eruption, temperatures may have been unusually low, or thick clothing may have acted as protection against ash and gases produced by the eruption. These findings feed into a long-standing debate over the date of Pompeii's destruction. While ancient sources date it to late August, archaeological evidence has hinted at a later season. By focusing on the last clothing worn, the study provides a rare insight into how Pompeii's residents faced the disaster. For all of us here at Bible and Archaeology, I'm Mary-Kate Lichty.